I just saw a really endearing clip by Mr. Rogers. Um, and nowadays it would be considered hate speech in many circles. So I want to, you know, share it with you. For those who don't know, because they're international or what have you, Mr. Rogers uh, was a really just adorable TV show for young children that used to be on the air and now it's been replaced by um, different gay things. So, literally, you know, in a literal sense. <laughs> All right, so let's go watch it. Boys are boys from the beginning. If you were born a boy, you stay a boy. Girls are girls right from the start. You know, what's, what's funny about this is that if you played it on a college campus today, the, the outrage and the shrill shrieking would be, well, deafening. And he does it in such a gentle manner and self-evident manner. Like, he's not afraid of any sort of blowback from this because these were, I guess you could say, better times. If you were born a girl, you stay a girl and grow up to be a lady. Everybody's fancy. Everybody's fine. Your body's fancy. And so is mine. Only girls can be the mommies. <laughs> he got worse. Can you believe it? Can you believe how offensive that is? <laughs> and, you know, it's like he's speaking to these young children. Um, and now it's adults who are having these, these problems. I mean, the offensive terms, the legitimately offensive terms that have been used for mothers over the past few years, uh, you know, as birthing persons and so on, and women as people with front holes, I remember. And similarly, and here's Mr. Rogers just kind of saying so plainly for young children what we all know to be true. Only boys can be the daddies, yes sir. Everybody's fancy, everybody's fine. Your body's fancy, and so is mine. Yeah, okay, so I just wanted to share that with you because it... Sometimes I think we can get a little bit too lost in our own age, right? So we're, we're so used to, to hearing just certain nonsensical things being said that we forget that it wasn't really that long ago that these things weren't even conversations and they shouldn't be now, frankly. Um, and so it kind of helps to look back and this is one of the reasons that I encourage people to read old books fairly often is because in the older books you don't see the same errors, the same fallacies of our age that you do when you read modern books. It, it, it sort of widens your horizon. And I also think that one of the things that we ought to be doing is not only reading old books but also collecting them in paper form because there are so many now that are being rewritten to make them non-offensive, which actually means that they're being rewritten to fundamentally change the truths there within and to prevent them from being used as the antidote that I'm referring to, right? The antidote to the errors of our age by letting you know, hey, there was a time where it was very obvious that, you know, only, only men could be fathers and only women could be mothers and so on. And that, you know, girls grow up to be ladies and boys grow up to be men. Um, these things that ought to be self-evident but aren't. And nowadays you've got the kids that are growing up, right? In this current age of confusion and to them what we knew growing up and which kind of provided something of an antidote to that to, to this mantra uh, they don't know because they've been exposed to this garbage throughout their entire lives at very young ages and so that's when you kind of it's this exposure to different ages that that work in contrast to, to sort of neutralize us and remind us of our ancestry and to some degree just of of truth of truths that were lost and were forgotten and in cases where the reins were not properly handed down to the next generation we can re-grasp for them and I think that's really important it's something that we shouldn't forget if you enjoyed that video please don't forget to like and subscribe also share it with your friends I've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways thank you